Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Chart Nerd TA video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Algorand and doing some technical analysis here on the daily time frame. So if you relate back to my previous videos, I did say that Algorand was potentially coiling up between a level of support and resistance in this rising channel. And you can see that when it did come up to its last point of contact of resistance, it came down, lost support, turned it to resistance, and has now started to roll over. So in my previous videos, I did say that if you was to start to lose this ascending support for Algorand, which it has that potentially you're going to be retracing back down towards where this pattern actually started to form out and looking for a level of support so what i think we've got on our ha got on our hands here is a potential retracement to where this pattern formed uh, and also a, a 0618 target on, on a retracement fib. So potentially what I'm looking at here is this is a large impulsive wave one where you had an 86% 80, move up to around 30 cents. Uh, and right now you're looking for a wave two pullback to support to get continuation. So, um, and, and that continuation is basically retracing to this 45 cent high that Algo put in in November. So potentially what I'm looking for is a wave one, a wave two, and then a breakout of this 30 cents to confirm that we'd be looking for a wave three. Um, so again, to confirm this, I'm going to get these trend lines back on here just to show you exactly what I mean. So to confirm that we, we will have this wave two of support, we do need to see this, this low here held, I believe, at around 20 cents. Now I'm going to get a fib in. So from this high retracing back down to this low that we put in on the 30th of December here for Algo, you can see that the 0618 uh, at around 20 cents ties up with the retracement back down to this low. So potentially you've started to form this bearish uh, topping out pattern, a local top pattern, and right now you've lost support, turned it to resistance and you're retracing. If you start to close below 23 cents on the daily time frame, I do think ultimately you're looking for the 050 as support first, um, but for me, because you've you, you've lost this this target here, you've lost this support. I think you are in the retracement back down potentially to the zero six one eight. So that's not to say that in the in the short term we could see some relief here, because again the market works in waves. We could see a short bounce up to resistance and then a fall through, and you know work your waves and and slowly build down. Potentially, in a this could be a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and then a wave five. Okay, waves within waves or a large A, B, C, potentially. But this is the area that I'm looking for here for for uh, Algorand to, to come back to you to gain support to get continuation. Because then at that point, as I said, you've got this wave one. Potentially, you're in this correction now to the wave two. And then you're, as long as you start to come up, hold support, and tackle out of this 30 cent high, okay, and break that, it gives you confirmation that you are putting in higher lows, okay, and you're tackling out of this high, so you're putting in higher highs. And this is the start of the lows for Algorand looking to break out uh, into 2023. So that's what we're looking for in the, uh, in the in the bullish case scenario. Okay, guys, that's what we're looking for in the bullish case scenario. So let's say, for example, let's say, for example, we do lose this low. Where could our ground be retracing to? Okay, and we fail to hold this as support for continuation. And this isn't a wave two. Potentially, this is an impulsive wave. And right now, you're looking to form a larger corrective wave, reversing back down to these lows. Well, for that to occur, as I've said, you've got the golden ratio that you need to lose as support. So that sits between the 050 and the 0618. So around 20, 21 to 20 cents. If you start to lose that support range, I do think for Algorand, it could get a little bit nasty. So I'm just going to get this on instead for us. I do think it potentially could be a little bit nasty and we could be in for a larger retracement. So that larger retracement would potentially be if he was to start to come down and lose this 20 cents, I do think you'd be retracing back down to this low. And this isn't an impulsive corrective for another impulsive move to the upside. In fact, it's a, it's a continuation pattern where you've ran back into resistance and right now you're coming back down, looking to retrace to, to the 16 cent mark. So that most ultimate base, uh, ultimate case here for the bearish scenario is losing all these key levels of support here and retracing back down to the 16 cents okay because it is a potential and we could be continuing the trend that we are in you can see okay you've got a high here this could be a lower high and right now you're looking to retrace back to this low and if you do start to lose this low here for our grand you've got lower targets for me um in into later this year potentially around 13 cents at a minimum at the 1272 there OK, but again, that's a long, long way away. Right now, we have broken out. We are above uh, key EMAs at the moment, I think. Yeah, so we was above. We're starting to lose the, the, the daily 20 here. But if we zoom out to the weekly for Algorand, 
um, you can see that what we, I think what we've done here is we've, again, like just like we did here, okay, we created this right angled broadening wedge. Uh, you lost support, turned it to resistance and crashed. Right now you're looking to come back and hold support. As long as you can put in a higher low than this low here for us, then it's starting to confirm that over time, potentially we are starting to build out a structural bottom to curve out, drag these EMAs back up over time and actually start to get bullish crosses. And, and as soon as you start to tackle above uh, this 30 cent mark, I think you are looking to, to, to break out and you are confirming potentially that we are going to start some new impulsive waves here because you've got this key level of resistance you can see this is what we've run into currently it was previous support we had this right angled broadening wedge forming here which is another bearish pattern so we had resistance support resistance support lost it okay we've met the target down here at 16 cents rallied back up into it as resistance and right now on the weekly we're looking for that larger pullback to 20 cents to put in a higher low and then attack this 30 cents again so what this would be doing again on the larger time frames, the weekly, you'd be building up a structure of uh, a low, a high, a higher low and running into this resistance. And as long we, we need to see this key resistance broken um, and we need to see our grind get back above this to confirm. So we need to see this holder support break out, hold this as um, support here and get continuation. OK, that's what we need to see. So that is a very strong area of resistance that we need to see our ground break now to confirm our potential moves to the upside. So keep this in mind, guys. And this sits at a rough price of around 27 cents. So we do need to see ourselves get back above that, um, come back, hold a higher low here, start to coil up over time, break this resistance. And I think you've got a, a longer opportunity on your hands back up to this 45 cent mark that we put in in October. Uh, 2022 so i hope you enjoyed the content today guys if you did please do like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell for for my next videos from chart nerd ta take care peace out